this is Sunny from my happy space. Welcome back at my channel. Um, it is now exactly halfway through gratitude documenting, and I was thinking of making a video just catching up of gratitude documenting, making my faith text card. I'm doing thankful 30 also doing that. If you don't know what's gratitude documenting, it usually happens over the month of November. We think of things to be grateful for, so it can be in different forms. I'm doing the one with Illustrated Faith, which is a Bible journaling company, which got 30 prompts. I'm doing Faith Decks cards, which is sort of a memory deck type of card. So we're going to decorate two cards today, two prompts. And then I do another one, which is more a scrapbooking thing, but you can make it as, as what you want. It's called um, Thankful 30 which you have a sort of a standard prompt of 30 things you're thankful for, and then you document it with a photo. So I've done already now. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a little flip through at the end of all my, um, what I've done so far for both one of them. If you're interested to check that out at the end of the video, it's going to be very brief. I'm not going to go too long into it. So yeah, so that is the two things I'm going to contradict concentrate on today so we're going to do two entries for the five text cards and two entries for this it's going to be fairly quick so i'm not going to keep you long it's just to show you a little bit what i'm getting on with i do most of my posts on instagram so if you want to follow me and see i'm getting on with my thankful 30 and my illustrated five gratitude documenting follow me on instagram my handle is down below below so yeah if you want to see how my um, five text cards and my prompts is getting on so yeah let's put you on fast forward and let's start doing this i've got everything out here i usually have my all my printables in these little pouches so i just go through them and see what appeals to me i've got my pattern papers print out all from illustrated faith and yeah i've got my my days for my thankful 30 which i use one to 30 and then in this cute little pot here, I've got all my sort of numbers for gratitude documenting. So I just get that out there. And then I've got my little faith text box, which I just choose the prompt for the day. And I've got my little, the name of the prompt in there. So I'm just putting it on. So I'll show you now in a minute what I'm going to do. So yeah, I've got everything ready. So let's get started. Okay, the first prompt I have is um, health. So um, I've got my list of prompts here on my, in my first little entry of my um, five text card for gratitude documenting. So I can just go back every day to that. And then this is a paper from Sarah Gleason. Um, I think it's from a Soul Race collection, also all in Illustrated Faith. And this is from Brandy Kinyat. I think that's how you pronounce his surname. And this is um, Helping Hands. It's it's supposed to be these plates you put on top of your wall, these old-fashioned plates which they used to have in the olden days. So I'm just rearranging them on top of each other because they're also pretty. I don't know which one to use. I'm just putting double-sided tape on the ones on top just to lift them up. And I was just thinking of health. The verse they gave, she gave us to look at is 1 Samuel 25 or 6. It says, peace and prosperity to you and your family and everything you own. So I don't know if in some translations it might have the word health in. But I was more drawn to the, the, the verse in Jeremiah 17 verse 14. It says, Lord, if you heal me, I will surely be healed if you save me i will truly be saved so i was thinking more i'm very thankful for my health um it's something we all take for granted just getting up in the morning doing things for the lord just just being able to serve him um i think when your health is taken away that's when you really appreciate your health so i think really that is something worthwhile to be thankful for whatever capacity that might be um even if you're not totally healthy just to be thankful for the health you have so yeah, I'm just thankful, Lord, um, for my health at the moment. Um, and yeah, I'm just thankful for that. The other thing I was thinking of, the thing I'm the most thankful for is the fact that the Lord has healed my heart, that he has cleansed my heart from sin. And I'm thinking of, I think Psalm 51, which um, David says, created me a clean heart. And that the Lord has really, truly cleaned my heart and healed my heart from a sinner, um, the seat for heart to a righteous heart in front of him. Um, he has turned me from the kingdom of darkness to the kingdom of light. And that is the thing I'm the most thankful for because that has eternal consequences and eternal 
ability. So that is, I'm um, sorry, um, I've talked quite a lot, but that's my finishing um, Fatex card for day 13. And now we are looking at day 14. And I'm just using one of the bits and bobs from um, Vanessa Walker, which is put together for um, the gratitude documenting. And I love that frames. And I'm putting it sort of, um, no, not horizontal, vertical. So um, because there's uh, the words amen and amens on there. So that needs to be on there. And as you can see, I just cut the 14 sort of out and I've swapped over the little leaf so it can be on the other side because it worked a little bit better to me. So um, I've got these alpha stickers, sort of brown cork alpha stickers, which I'm going to put the word safety underneath each other. And I'm also thinking of the word safety. Um, it, the verse we had to look at is Proverbs 133. It says, but all who listen to me will live in peace, untroubled by fear of um of the enemy. And um, I was also think, um, thinking of Psalm 191, which is those who live in the south of the most high um, will be yeah, protected. And I was just thinking safety to me is not a place. It is a person. And that person is Jesus Christ. And we've been talking a lot about safety at least for the last few years um, or for the last few months. And to me, safety is a person. It is not a place of maybe lockdown or isolation. It's, it's who I find my safety in. So that's just something to think about, something to be thankful for if God keep you safe. So I'm um, sorry, um, we've moved already on to the thankful 30. So I'm just looking at these two prompts. The first prompt is a book you are thankful for. And I'm thankful for this book and Bible study book of K. Arthur from Precepts. It's Lord Teach Me to Stand and it's all about warfare and spiritual warfare. And it's such a practical book. It's amazing. If you haven't done a K. Arthur Precepts study, please do. It is just amazing. K. Arthur is the most wonderful, godly woman. I'm forever thankful for her because I started doing precepts 10 years ago and it totally transformed my life because the word of God transformed your life. So, um, yeah, that is what I'm looking on on day 11. So I've got a brown doily there and I've got all these ephemera is from the Sarah Gleason um, Glad and Sincere Kit, which has got these round circles with the date. So it's perfect for thankful 30 because there's 30 um, round circles in there. So I can use it for every day to keep um, uniformity so i'm just using some of those illustrated faith gratitude documenting labels and i'm just decorating it the other prompts 12 or the day 12 is a hobby you're thankful for now last year i've also said bible journaling but i'm just continuing with that because it's still my hobby don't really have time for anything else um and so i've just put, took a photo of one of my favorite um bible journaling entries it's not a very good photo um, it's a good photo, but somehow I didn't print it out very nicely, but it's fine. I can see what it is. So I've just put that on there. So I'm just going to write on there that I'm still enjoying it. I'm loving being part of the community. I've grown so much in my artistic skills. I've hopefully grown much in my faith. I always say to people, Bible journaling, to me, you cannot just do that to grow in your faith. It's just a pretty and a creative outlet towards your faith. You need to do a good inductive Bible study. You need to study the word in a different way. This to me is just a nice way to be also in the word, just to look up verses, be prompted, to wash myself of the word of God, and then just put pretty things on a piece of paper because I love pretty things. I love to be artistic and creative. So this is just a nice little outlet. It's definitely not my main way I would study the word of God. It doesn't even come close to that. It's just, yeah, it's just to have fun. Um, it's better than nothing, but I would urge you, you cannot rely just on Bible journey to be in the, in the Word of God. Um, you need to do the studying, and then you can put it down on a piece of paper what you like. So, um, yeah, I'm just putting on the side of that coffee also sort of a journey tag with, I think, good things, I think it says, or good, yeah, good things. I can't see now very well. So, yeah, I, um, this, these pages I just keep very, very simple. Um, uniformed every day so I'll give you a quick flip through of everything now okay obviously this is the first page of my book with all the prompts there from day 1 to 30 and the first day I think we've done a process video for that um, that is a personality attribute I'm thankful for and I said perseverance and hard work running a YouTube channel so I've done an entry for that um, so in day two, I'm not 100% sure if I've done an entry for that, but it is about my husband, to be thankful for my husband. I took a photo of him after he ran a 65 kilometer race 
He was going to run it, but it was cancelled by COVID. So he did it by himself. He was determined to do it. So he came back. It was absolutely a freezing day. It rained and he was shivering of cold when he came back. So we just wrapped him up in towels and we took a photo of him with his crazy endeavors and um, yeah, doing it. And yeah, that's it it a nice memory. And I was trying to take photos of what happened during this year. And that photos, all the photos of, of previous year. I've learned it from last year. Last year, I took use any photo. And I realized afterwards, you're supposed to take a photo in the year. Now, day three was something to be thankful for. My kid, or not something, my kids, your kids. Now, I've taken a photo that's on Mother's Day this year. And I'm thankful for my kids. They are both teenagers. And I'm really having very little trouble with them. They've got the usual teenage moods and things like that. But they love both the Lord. They serve in church. And they really such a blessing um, to have around. I cannot be yeah, more thankful for them. And I just pray for them every every day that they will keep close to the Lord and that they will be um yeah, just continue growing their faith. And day four is thankful for your home or place you called home. And this is a photo of my house. And I love that bougainvillea. That is a plant or a tree I got from my mom. My mom died about three years ago. So we planted that tree, which was in our garden. And I'm always saying this is how she is blooming in heaven. Um, I just get reminded when I see that, that she is absolutely flourishing and blooming in heaven. She couldn't be happier. So it's just a beautiful reminder. I'm just, just happy to yeah, call this my home. And I love that picture of the bougainvillea in front of the home. Now, this is, you need to be thankful for a specific family member. Now, last year, I said my sister. This year, I'm, I'm thinking of my daughter. I'm just, I'm obviously very thankful for my son also. But this year, we work together and on my devotion, um, Come Away From Me, Beloved. And it was lovely just to have a part of this, help with the artwork, thinking things through, working together in a team, just spending more time with her. Because, as you know, teenagers like to do the, be on their, by their own and have their own friends and own life. So it's just nice to come together and work together and just spend some more time together. So, yeah, I'm very thankful for her um, this year. So, um, yeah, that's just a photo I wanted to remember her. Now, day six is about um, your neighborhood. Um, you um, I've just took a picture of my street um, because um, that's just we live in an old neighborhood with more established houses and, and gardens. Um, the new developments in South Africa can sometimes be a bit small. So I'm thankful for this older neighborhood. I'm living with the established trees of the houses and it's beautiful and sunny and green. So I'm just thankful to live in Cape Town in, in the street. So yeah, I'm just I'm thinking of that and um, I'm, I'm just enjoying it. Day seven is a place that makes your home home or and that I took a photo of my kitchen. Unfortunately, it's not a very good photo. I've got actually a very nice kitchen. Or for me, it's very nice. It's nice and bright and sunny. And sort of very English cottagey with white um, kitchen furniture. And sort of rose pattern blinds and things like that. It's probably not up to everybody's taste. But I do like it. That's just sort of my dream kitchen. Um, I was particularly looking for a house which I could renovate and do the kitchen over up to my liking because I know I'm not going to get um, sort of many people who's going to do it exactly as I want. So I'm very thankful for that. And that's a place we get together and just spend some time together. Now, I've, um, this is thankful for appliance. I put my fridge up there because my fridge broke about a month ago and I was really realizing it is impossible to live without a fridge. I don't know how people do it, especially in a hot country. So I'm very, very thankful for my fridge. This is day nine. Thank, it's a, your mode of transportation. This is my car. I've been driving it for the last 10 years. And I'm probably going to drive it for another year or so before we pass it on to my daughter when she gets a license. So I'm very thankful for it. It's nippy. It's light on petrol. It parks easily. I don't need anything else. This is a YouTube channel or a TV program you're thankful for, I've chosen a YouTube channel and it's called um, the Australian Christian Lobby. It's an Australian um, YouTuber, but he speaks the truth in every situation. He takes world events, what's happening in the world or just generally. And he's so wise. He's only 30 years old. He's got such a means of wisdom. And I just always listen to him. If I'm sort of thinking, what must I think about this? Um, obviously, besides going to the Word of God, he just pinpointed and he validates sometimes what I'm thinking. So it's very nice to listen to him. I will link his YouTube channel down below. Um, sometimes he talks about Australia, lots, lots of times, but lots of times he talks about world events. 
Now, this is obviously what we've done today, um, prompt 11 and 12. Um, we looked at, um, I've already sort of explained that. And so this, this is a quick flip through of um, the whole book. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed um, this thankful 30. So I'm going to quickly show you a flip through of my um, five text cards, what I've done. Obviously, this is my first one of all the prompts which you've seen. So I can just refer to that every day. That is day one. Um, this is just um, one of those frames of Vanessa again and its strength. Um, so as you see, see, I do the same type of thing. I've just put the the prompt at the back with the verse and I do some like, sometimes prayer journaling at the back. This is from Brianna Showalter, one of her bits and bobs which Vanessa also put together. I love that one. This one is probably one of my favorite five text cards so far. This I've got a beloved society little girl on there and I love the autumn colors. Um, beautiful. That's faith. Thankful for faith. That's to say empty card. This is understanding. Yeah, thankful for understanding that God cleared or um, gave me understanding of who he is. And this is sort of just something different. This I've used hearts on top of each other to make a five text card. So this, this is a different way of making a five text card because we're talking about love, being thankful for love. This is patience. I love that little clock on there and I've done the measuring tapes. Tape, it's also sort of idea of being patient, waiting out the time, measuring things. Day seven was blessings, thankful for all God's blessings. And that's also um, just a beautiful, subtle pink entry, which I like. And this is day eight, thankful for God's grace. This is also from Sarah Gleason. I think it's also from the sin sincere and glad um, papers. I think it is. And this is um, well, Mercy, Mercy, sorry. Um, and I've just used the black and white sort of pumpkins from Illustrated Faith to make a faith text card, something different. If you want to know anything, go to my Instagram account. I have put on each post, I've put the papers and everything I use for every faith text card. So if you want to know, if you're interested to pick up any of these papers, you can do that. This is um, forgiveness and I've just made small little tags with my die cut machine. And I've made a tag with some music, him, old hymnal notes which I've got just to make tags and embossing flower. So yeah, that's just um, a sort of something different. This is also a beautiful entry, put growth on there and just kept it subtle with some embossing on the flower there just to pick up the, the gold around the growth. And this is a little envelope I make, which, you, and you know, I like to make that with a um, little photo, which is also part of the Illustrated Five Printables, and with ability on it, because, yeah, I'm thankful for my ability, but uh, most of all, I'm thankful for God's ability to save me, to help me, to give me strength. And this is obviously the one we've done today, the health, and I'm just showing you which you put the Bible verse at the bottom, stamp, you tick off that you prayed about it, you shared it, um, yeah, that is the other one we've done today, the safety. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like. I'd really appreciate it. If you haven't subscribed, please consider so. Let me know you're getting out of your gratitude documenting. Yeah, thank you very much for watching. Stay tuned for some close-up photos.